Now we're going to load the product. It is recommended that you write all the numbered locations in the machine on a sheet of paper. Then write the product and price of each you are putting in each location to be used when you program the pricing software. Trays 1 through 3 are for your standard dry product. Everything below this will be your cold drinks. Gently lift up and pull out the shelves individually. You will feel it hit a stop, then lower it down at an angle. Load product into each selection, making sure you fill all the way from front to back without missing any spaces between the coils. Fill each selection in the tray and then go to the next tray. When returning each tray to its vent position, make sure it makes it over the two bump stops. Open the refrigeration inner door to access the cold drink loading areas by pushing down on the lever. Reference the diagram on the interior of the door for loading cans and bottles. The top and bottom trays are for bottles or cans, and the center tray is a high capacity tray for 12 ounce cans only. Follow the directions on the door, making sure the bottles are loaded cap down and cans in the high capacity tray loaded on their side with the top towards your right. Be sure to recognize the duplicate numbers on the fronts of the trays. These are to be loaded with repeat high moving items. This allows you to maintain more inventory for dispensing. Next load samples of each drink into the live display. Open the display by undoing the wing nut and lowering the panel. Load the drinks down into the display over top of the numbers that you've correspondingly written down on your sheet of paper. Before closing the display, orient the labels of each product towards the front. Close the display panel and replace the wing nut. You've now completed the hardware setup for your new netting machine. Now it's time to begin the software setup. Be sure to leave the door unlocked while you perform this. Consult the programming setup sheet also taped to the front of your machine.